What's going on, everybody? So, got something going on today, and I uh, wanted to show you some baby shower stuff. Yeah, we have a kid on the way. I didn't really talk about much in my videos because I want to focus on beer and barbecue, but we have a baby shower going on today, and I want to show you something, some of you barbecue guys and beer guys is why I like to do a little bit of both is we've made our own baby shower beer that we're giving out to everyone. Uh, this is that strawberry ale. That's why I made it was uh, for the baby shower. So you can see it, uh, my wife made the labels. I think they're pretty cool, huh? But yeah. I got about uh, 16 of these. We only have we have a handful of people coming over, not a whole lot. Um, and we got some guests on the table here. But that's not the only thing. Let's go outside. And we have a little bit of the barbecue side going here today. Oh, my monitor's going off here show you what we got going on here pork shoulder now this is the same pork shoulder recipe that I did way early on in my videos I'm actually thinking about doing a revamped version of it but yeah you see it's cooking right along and I don't even have water or anything in here these Kamados this char grill or acorn you know Kamados any Kamado they hold moisture so well you really don't even need a water pan I do it sometimes but Pork shoulders already got so much fat marbled in it that it doesn't really matter. But because I like to do both barbecue and beer, that's what we're doing today. Um, so yeah, this is uh should be good. But that just goes to show, hey, if you can brew your own beers, make your own barbecue, you can take care of your situation, your festivities, and let's uh. Up to the garage. Hey dog. What? Forgot. Show you all my barware here. Oh yeah. Alright. I right. and this is actually a beer here that I did for our wedding. My wife made these labels as well. And uh, yeah, this was a uh, Texas Bach beer that we made. And uh, we have a couple bottles left over, and that's from like three years ago almost. <laughs> Four years, three years? Yeah, three years. And let's see, what do we want to use here? <laughs> let's go with. Yeah, let's go with uh, standard old Pilsner glass. Or pint glass, I should say. All right. Now let's go to the garage. <laughs> it's really cold today. It's got to be in like the 50s this morning. So let's go in here. My garage is a mess. I've warned you. <laughs> oh, we have another beer on tap. It's the cream ale we made in the intro to brewing video. I'm going to try and do this. I got a camera in my hand, so hopefully it was a little overcarbonated the other day. Hold on, I'm going to have to get this going for a second here. But... It's still overcarbonated. Not, it actually has like calmed down. What happened was I had a uh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's five o'clock somewhere, right, guys? It's actually like eight o'clock here, but I wanted to show you. This is the cream ale. This beer was, fr I put this beer in the primary uh, for a week. Then I, well, actually, let me step back. I never transferred this beer. This beer sat in primary only for two weeks. 
and then I kegged it. Shame on me. You're just supposed to let beer sit for three, but hey. He can't tell, man. Mm. This right here, guys. Those who watched the intro to brewing video. This is what you can make, even with just a simple extract kit. So, anyways, got my mother-in-law's dog barking upstairs. I'm going to go outside here. Close the door. But, I made this beer uh, for today. Figured a good old sessionable cream ale along with that... Uh, let me flip my camera around here. I'm juggling hands here. <laughs> Look at that head on this sucker. Craziness. So, I, uh, I made that Scottish Ale. And I made the, uh, um, the cream ale. And then I have that baby shower brew. And then I have some, uh, brown porters or yeah brown porters also so we're, we're well stocked on brews for today but i just wanted to say good morning hello and uh that's it man uh i don't know what i'm gonna video next but something's coming cheers have a good day